What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Son of Attack once again, and today I'm going to show you guys how to mine the Consensus Network. It's basically a new fork of Caspa. I guess it's a fork of a fork because it does utilize the Carlson Hash mining algorithm, which of course Carlson Hash has put into place. That does mean that there is potential for FPGAs and ASICs on this network at this given time, but it is still mineable by GPUs. Uh, and that is why we're gonna go over how to mine it with GPUs in today's video. First things first to take a look at is you will need to create a wallet. The easiest way to create a wallet is at wallet.consensus-network.com. But it's important to note that if you are gonna go this route, I highly recommend setting the payout limit on the mining pool to something significantly higher than it is at default. Otherwise, you'll end up with too many transactions coming into the web wallet and you'll have to consolidate them. You don't lose any funds. It's just something that you have to do periodically if you don't set a higher payout limit because the list of transactions gets too long in the web wallet. So to do this, you're just gonna click the create a new wallet, type in a password, and then select next. And then you will have your words. Um, you can either write these down or do a quick screenshot of them. It's really up to you. I highly recommend writing these down and storing them in a safe place, like a fireproof safe, or if you're gonna write them down digitally, you are going to essentially put them in an encrypted drive. After this, you'll click next. It'll ask you, so as long as you wrote them down, like here, it'll say what's the 11th word. You'll look on the sheet. You'll select the 11th word, then you look on the sheet and select the first word in this case, and then the sixth word in this case, and then it'll say success, and we'll click done. So at this point, you can essentially get your receiving address right here, so you can copy that out. And then at this point, you'll get this address right here, and you can copy this out. At this point, you'll get your address, and you're going to copy that out and paste it somewhere for later. And then we can move on to the mining portion of this. So it is listed on miningpoolstats.com. You can go over here and find a pool to mine to. Please spread out your hash rate to be a responsible miner. For example, as Baikal Mine already has 46% of the hash rate, to keep it as far away from 51% as possible, go ahead and choose something else, whether that's mining for people or something along those lines. Today, I believe I'm gonna use some guy mining for the example here. And then what we are going to do is set up the miner. Today we'll be utilizing LOL miner. So for Windows, the first thing we'll do is right click and say new and folder. Let's go ahead and name it consensus, press enter. So at this point, we're going to download the LOL miner by selecting the Win64 version. I'm gonna to go to the desktop and select the folder that we just created and click save. And we're gonna say, show us that folder. And then we're going to right click and say, extract all. Click the extract button. I'm gonna replace the file since I've done this once before. And we're going to find the mine Carlson option which is this batch file. We're gonna right click and basically say edit. You might have to say show more options and then edit. More info, run anyways. And then we are going to essentially go find our pool, right? Click the connect button, select the location and difficulty level that you prefer. Copy this out, go back to the batch file, paste that in where it says pool. Then we are gonna to go to the wallet that we created earlier. We're going to copy the address, paste that in right here, and you can name your rig right here. And then we'll say file and save, or to make this easier, file save as, and we can just rename it to consensus, mindconsensus.bat, and click save. So at this point, we can go back to our folder for LOL miner and double click mine consensus. A Windows security may pop up and ask you to allow and then it will begin mining. Now, this is an RTX 2060 on a laptop so I don't expect much out of it, but that is how you would mine it on Windows. If you are having antivirus issues, you may need to add an exception. 
I've done various tutorials on that on this channel, depending on the type of antivirus you are looking at. You basically would add an exception for the consensus folder that we created earlier. I'm going to do a control C to stop mining. It'll close. I'll say Y for yes and press enter and we're done mining over here. So let's talk about LOL miner or on iOS. So we're going to go to our flight sheet. We're going to select KLS as our miner. We're going to add a wallet. We are going to go to the consensus wallet, copy out the consensus wallet right here, paste that into our address, name it and click create. Then for the pool, we will just say configure in miner, and then we will select LOL miner. We will click the setup miner config for the wallet. We'll select that worker name. We're going to copy out, paste into worker name for the pool server. It's not a listed one yet. So we're going to go back over to the pool, copy that out, paste it into the server. We can also copy out the port and paste it here. You don't necessarily need the stratum plus TCP on this particular setup. And then you have everything in here that is required. You're going to click apply, click create flight sheet, go over to your workers, select the worker. You can go into the flight sheet here or you can highlight it up here. I just have a lot of flight sheets, so this is a little bit easier. Select that worker. And then, of course, we can always connect via shell. Log in with the default user and one password. Alrighty, so I seem to be having some issues on one of my rigs. I just applied that flight sheet over to my 3070 rig and it is off to the races. So that is how you configure the flight sheet. It was just uh, not showing up quite right over there, but that is what you run into. Maybe I'll have a video for you guys later on the issues with the other rig once I get it figured out. So that's how you mine consensus. Now, if you want to monitor, of course, the amount of rewards you're going to get, you can copy the address out of your HiveOS here and you can go to the dashboard. Paste that into the wallet stats and click load wallet. It should show your worker over here on the right. And that's how you can confirm that you are mining. Once you have a balance and it shows paid out right here under paid balance or lifetime balance, you can go back to your wallet and you'll see it reflected here. So that is how you mine consensus. And this particular project is an interesting one. If you'd like more information on it and a WTF is, please let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget on June 1st, I'll be hosting a meetup with your friend Andy, Digital Spaceport, Scott from Scott's Crypto Mining, and more. So make sure you show up on Saturday, June 1st at noon at the Batch Craft Beer and Kolaches in Austin, Texas, off Manor Road. I hope to see you guys out at Consensus. Kind of funny. I just figured we'd show you guys how to mine Consensus before we go to Consensus. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday.